kiss on the first day don't hold anything back. That was Chris Lane's video for his current single, I Don't Know About You. And joining us now on ET Live is the man himself, Chris, who is joining us. I guess, do you want to applaud yourself too? It's good to see you. Welcome good to, see you to well. uh, ET Live. You've had quite the week here in Los Angeles. You played at the Wiltern uh, just a couple days ago. Then last night you had a, a, a really cool program at the Grammy Museum. How you feeling? Feeling good. It has been a good week uh, just to be a part of that and, and to get asked to come play at the Grammy Museum was, that's a big mm -hmm. deal to me. So I had a good time doing that. I mean, you've always been, you know, go, go, go with your career, constantly touring. And, you know, I feel like this week of, you know, show after show and, you know, press and all that is just gearing you up for what you have this year. It's going to be a big year for you. You are about to head out on tour with Dan and Shay this spring. Do you have the tequila ready? I have the tequila <laughs> ready, absolutely. Uh, love those guys. Mm -hmm. They've been uh, early friends of mine when I first moved to Nashville. Uh, so much fun. So I'm really looking forward to uh, that tour here in the spring. Then I'm going to be going out with uh, Brad, Brad Paisley, Paisley in the summertime. Now, does that, you know, you've obviously, you've worked alongside, you know, a lot of big names in the industry. You've opened up for, you know, uh, Garth before and other big names. But do you, do you get intimidated at all? Is it is it nerve wracking? <laughs> yeah, yeah, for sure. And, and I don't necessarily, like, when I was out on tour with Florida Georgia Line, like, mm -hmm. I've been friends with those guys for a long time, so it's a, right. it's a lot more relaxing. Um, going out on tour with Dan and Shay, kind of the same way. Uh, Are but, you besties with Brad? Yeah, you know what? <laughs> Brad and I don't necessarily have a relationship yet, so I can't okay. wait to get to know him. I've heard uh, from all the artists that have been on tour with him, they've spoken uh, very highly of him. And okay. I grew up a big Brad Paisley fan, so this tour is going to be awesome. Has he reached out to you, um, you know, in the meantime, since you guys announced the news about the tour? Just, you know, I'm excited to have you. And Yeah, not yet. Okay. Um, I'm sure that's coming, yeah. though, for sure. As we get closer, we, we got a little bit of time for that tour start. Right. So. You will obviously be busy on the road, but in the meantime, will you be uh, working on new music? Are you right now? Absolutely, yeah. I, I'm constantly writing on the road and off the road, um, trying to write that next best song like anybody else is but uh yeah at, at some point this year i'll get into the studio and work on album number music. three absolutely okay how absolutely. how would you say you want the vibes to be for the next album yeah you know what i'll keep it very similar um i've been lucky to have success with uh my second record and uh i really love it a lot and i'll, I'll probably right. just keep down don't fix down something that's not broken right absolutely now what <laughs> is obviously going into this next album i feel like you have a lot of uh, new inspirations in your life you are happily in love to the beautiful <laughs> lauren bushnell who i had a chance to meet last night who is just a sweetheart is that inspiring some new music for you too yeah, absolutely. Um, I definitely have a new inspiration in my life mm -hmm. that I've never had before. Right. So a, a much different feeling um, inside my yeah. heart when I go into a writing room. Uh, so yeah, 100%. Get those uh, love ballads from you yeah. with the falsetto. Absolutely. Now she is, uh, correctly, she's moving to Nashville, right? She is moving to wow. Nashville. That's going to be a, uh, you guys. a big step for us. Uh, and it's all kind of... Uh, I guess happened pretty rapidly, right. uh, but in a good way. We're, we're both a little bit older, so I think sometimes right. when you're older, you know what you want, and yeah, it's when easier you know, to you move know. along a lot faster. Now, will you guys be living together? Yeah. Oh, good. Yeah. Okay. Downtown Nashville. Okay. Wow. You guys are <laughs> doing the damn we're doing thing. We're doing Have it. you guys talked uh, about marriage at all, or is it kind of just <laughs> like I know you guys have only been dating yeah, for yeah. a few months, but yeah, we've that's, only been that's a serious months. step. For sure. You know, at some point, I'm sure that that's going to happen. But uh, I think early in our relationship, we'll just uh, we'll keep going the way that we are and, and we'll see what happens. Well, we are so happy for you. Everything that Thank you've you. got going on professionally, personally, it's good to see you so happy. And of course, we have to talk about your uh, current single, I Don't Know About You. Obviously, this is a song where you're, you know, you have questions for someone, getting <laughs> to know them more. Um, so we wanted to play a little game with you kind of yeah. where we turn the questions on you and right. maybe get to know you a little bit better and the first one is pretty innocent it's just taken from the lyrics All right. do you have a tattoo and do you kiss on the first date i do not have a tattoo i don't think i could actually pull off a tattoo but uh can't handle the pain i 
I've probably kissed on the first date before. <laughs> okay, all right. What about the kind of like the strangest thing that you've ever done to get to know someone? Like guilty of cyber stalking them? I mean, we all are. I don't know if I, I mean, with Instagram, I guess it kind of makes it yeah, easier you look up to, uh, yeah, you can kind of learn a little bit about uh, mm -hmm. somebody before you actually take them out by just looking at right. something um, like that. So we live in a, in a different time now than when I was growing up and in high school, um, didn't have any of that or phones or no texting, mm -hmm. no nothing. So used to have to write uh, love letters every day to my girlfriend. <laughs> Love letters to the girlfriend. Chivalry is not dead, you guys. Um, what about like accidentally? Have you accidentally liked someone's Instagram while like looking like from you know like the archive oh, ones from oh. back in the day? And then you're like, wait, that's like accidentally liked it. So embarrassing to do that. But yes, one hundred percent. I've I've done that. Do you uh, just own it? Do you own it or do you unlike it? I just own it. You own it. Keep on. it there. Act Move like it on. never happened, though. <laughs> Act like it never happens. All right, next one. What are your guilty pleasures these days? Anything you're binge watching or? Uh, the only thing I binge watch right now, uh, The Walking Dead. That's like my favorite really? show. So I guess it's not really a guilty pleasure. But uh, yeah, that is actually one of my favorite shows ever. Mm, yeah, I haven't gotten into that one. I'm a little scared, which leads me to my next question. <laughs> what is the silliest fear that you have? Um, well, when I get on an airplane, I have to put on like a full mask mm -hmm. because I'm germs. terrified of germs. But okay. I would say uh, throwing up is like the biggest fear that I have. Really? Like more than snakes, more than spiders. I absolutely hate throwing up. Oh, I mean, I, I don't know anybody who actually likes throwing up. But No. Uh, well, you better be careful when you go on tour with Dan and Shay with all that tequila then. You don't want to be throwing up. Yeah, I know. I know. That would be bad. <laughs> what about, that would be terrible. What about uh, an odd talent? Do you have anything? An odd talent? Um, I mean, not many people can pull off the fal falsetto that you can do, but I wouldn't classify that as odd. That is just a straight An dance. odd talent. I think as a kid, I used to uh, do a decent job of mimicking the cowardly lion. From the Wizard of Oz. You know what? You know my next question. <laughs> <laughs> do the little laugh. <laughs> Welcome to ET Live, where we put people on the spot. And they do, uh, right now. I think I'm red for you. <laughs> All right, last one, Chris. What is one thing that you are going to have to bring out on the road with you this year? I always have to have my golf clubs with me. Mm -hmm. When I'm not riding on the road, all that kind of stuff, uh, before the shows, I love to go get around to golf in. Who is it's one kind of person thing. that you like dream of golfing with? Uh, good Lord. Uh, Ricky Fowler, Jordan Spieth. Um, I've become friends with some of the golfers uh, over the years from playing yeah. some of the pro-ams and stuff like that. But, um, yeah, I mean, anybody that I would get a chance to play with, I would absolutely love that. But uh, I love those guys. Love that. Yeah, well, Chris Tiger Lane. Woods. Yeah, I feel like everyone would want to. Do a little round with uh, Tiger Woods. Chris Lane, thank you so much for joining us in studio here on ET Live. Make sure to check out Chris's album, Laps Around the Sun, which includes his current single, I Don't Know About You. And of course, check him out on tour this spring with Dan and Shay and later in the year with Brad Paisley.